Your beautiful smile, your beautiful life Are waiting for you to shine bright It's never too early or late to start To rise up and shine Your beautiful smile, your beautiful life Beautiful people, welcome to my channel Previously I filmed how I present my cassava and plantain And you all were like you need to see me use it so yes i am here to show you how i make my ghana light soup and fufu it's once in a while that i do it yes so let me show you and don't forget to like share and subscribe don't skip the ads support your girl and i know you do that because you're a darling let's go i don't want to talk too much. so loves that is my meat it's still a bit frozen so i'm gonna wash that with you all and cut my chicken breast that's the chicken breast also is a bit frozen and that's the cassava and plantain that i stored in the refrigerator it's been like three weeks now yes but it's still good and that's the chili i think ch the chili is too much i don't like a lot of chili but if you like a lot of chili you can use as much as you like i'm gonna use maybe half of this and that is the ginger that i'm gonna use i would use half of the garlic not all of the garlic and then two onions two tomatoes carrots tomato paste and then salt so let's go and start i think i've taken everything and then i'll use my blender as well you see how i'll do it so let's start get everything and let's cook this together so let me show you what suspend i'll be using this i'm gonna be using this one right here for the cassava and this is going to be for the soup so yeah so my loves i have put in my cassava and plantain in my blender added half cup of water you know you need to add a little bit of water so that the blending would be easy so that your blender wouldn't get spoiled so i blended my cassava and plantain to be smooth with no particles you know you have to make it smooth because you're about to stir it so that you wouldn't see some of the cassava and plantain in there so i am done blending this is what i'm going to be using for the fufu so this is it and have you ever tried this method before if you have kindly drop your comment down below let me know and my last don't forget to like share and subscribe added just a little bit of water in the blender so that i could take it out we are not wasting anything so yes let's go to the other one yes so i have washed my chicken breast and my meat added one onion to the meat and the chicken breast and i'm taking that thin that green thing in there you know you have to take it out so i added two tomatoes and then one onion with the meat and the chicken so i had to cut my onion put in my blender cut my carrots into three okay and then cut my ginger into smaller portion and add it to the ginger and add it to the onion in the blender and i used six pieces of garlic i'm gonna leave everything i used on here in my description below so that you can check it out buy them and also you can make fufu and light soup in your homes so i added one ma one tomato paste in there and then i added one maji so yes this is what i'm doing and i added salt you know when you cook you eyeball the salt you need and it wasn't enough trust me guys it wasn't salty so i added a little bit of water so that i can blend my onion and ginger so yes i would blend that and then add it to my meat and the vegetables in there and put it on fire you will see that later let me leave you all now and enjoy as i cook cook with me guys <laughs>
my loves my light soup is in the process it's boiling yes i'm gonna make sure that everything is soft so yes my carrots is a bit soft and the tomatoes onions so i'm gonna take it out and blend all but guys please if your blender is not that strong kindly wait for the tomatoes and the carrots and the onion to cool down before you blend them it's very important so that you don't damage your blender so i took all of them out and make sure i stir it i stir the meat and the chicken so that it can get that space or it can be in that era of getting soaked in and getting all the spies you know and cook very well i don't like my meat to be strong i want everything to be soft so that it can digest fast in the stomach you know what it is right yes is my Ghanaian people in the house hello i welcome you all once again my auditions those who are new here you are all welcome i love you guys so much thanks for the support and the love so yes i waited for like three minutes and it was a bit okay so i did not add any water because they are soft so it can blend now i'm done blending so i need to pour it in the saucepan you know it was still boiling but you know what i did i added my chili to the onion and carrots and blended it added a bit of water you know how you want your light soup that is how you would measure the water in the blender you know if you want it thick you would add more you you would not add more water basically hey why am i not being stable in this voice over yes yeah, so if you want it thick you leave it like that if you want it a bit light you add a bit of water so that was what i did so now i'm coming to make my fufu so you have to stir it in a circular motion okay then you go back make sure the areas where the fire is catching up you need to be stirring that side as well as you're seeing it's it's basically um how do we call it explanatory keep on stirring go to the sides you know bring that side in the middle keep on staring 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 and it will become thick and make sure the fire is on a low heat i nearly bent <laughs> mine yeah you could see from that side it was becoming darker but hey it did not become black or anything in the food okay the fufu was okay guys so yeah disclaimer <laughs> yes yeah, so when i add water like this I just cover it up so that it can it can steam well and cook well as well you know because it's starch we need to be careful I cover it up wait for like two minutes and then I come again stir it and that is it I am done okay guys so I have to put it in my bowl my last so at this point it's super soft and you can't eat it like that so i leave it in the refrigerator the freezing pad for just like two minutes so that it can cool down and prepare for eating you know <laughs> yes so if you're out here and you have missed eating fufu and you want to make fufu and lye soup this is for you honey yes and i really enjoyed my fufu hope you have enjoyed it as well and hope you also try it at home i love you guys thanks for your support and the love and i'll see you all in my next video bye thanks for watching see you all <laughs> i really enjoyed it i wished i was able to like eat it on camera for you all to see how i enjoyed it but later